covering St. Johns County, where the school district is giving parents four options for their kids when school resumes in the fall. Option one, brick and mortar, meaning students will be physically at school five days a week. Option two, school-based distance learning, where the pace of learning aligns with brick and mortar learning. Option three, St. Johns virtual school. Option four, home education. Parents have until July 15th to make their selection. If no choice is made, students will be considered option one, brick and mortar. Superintendent Tim Forson says when students arrive to school, they will need to be wearing masks until their temperature is checked. Forson sat down with Jennifer Watt to discuss safety guidelines when students return in the fall. Tim Forson says one of the most challenging issues this school year is the use of facial coverings. He says the district understands the benefit of them, but also acknowledges it would be hard for younger students to wear them for an extended period of time, which is why he told me they will probably not be expected to be worn in classrooms in the fall, but other areas, definitely. We're making face masks required uh, on buses because of the inability to social distance and then um, really strongly recommending them in areas where we, we are gonna have difficulty with social distancing. Those areas where face masks will be strongly encouraged in St. Johns County schools include hallways as kids walk to and from class and any other part of the campus where students work in close compact areas. He says the district is still trying to work out enforcement. One of the challenges obviously with that is that it is children and we, we certainly don't want it to move to a level of, of enforcement and discipline for, for not having a face mask. So there's, there's a balancing act that we're trying to, trying to uh, live within. He told me they're working out right now how to separate kids during lunchtime and arrival and dismissal from school to minimize crowd size, but acknowledges much of that depends on the level of community spread as we get closer to the start of the school year. The district's three-tier approach to reopening schools now depends on feedback from parents, but there is an important deadline that you need to mark on your calendar. If you do not feel comfortable allowing your student to return to class August 10th and want them instead to participate in St. John's virtual school, you need to enroll him or her by next Friday, July 10th. Jennifer Waugh, Channel 4, The Local Station.